Hi there fellow YouTubers and welcome to another episode of 24 Hour Air Gunner. I will be using my Jacan Crows and Oblige Bullpup in point two two. Hi there fellow YouTubers, welcome back to 24 Hour Ray Gunner. I have now got my rifle back from repair. I have also fitted a humor regulator and deep inner. So should see a lot flatter trajectory. On this topic it is all about air gun ballistics. I will be showing you how to create an accurate BC for your rifle and pellet using Chair Gun Pro and also how to create Precise range cards and turret tapes. Hi there guys and welcome to Air Gun Ballistics. To start off I will be showing you how to use Hawk Chair Gun Pro. So to start off with you will first have to enter your data. First of all on the left here you have your 0.177 air gun or your 0.22 air gun. I have the 0.22 air gun ticked as that is my rifle. In the top left here you have your hawk scopes. So you click on that to select a hawk scope. You will go down the list to see if you can find your scope. And man is the Hawk Air Max 3x12x50 side focus scope. You will then select that scope you will then go to this box here which is your projectiles and as you can see there's 0 0.177 0 0.20 0 0.22 and 0.25 if you click on the 0.22 you will go down the big list of pellets to find out the pellet you yourself are using I am using the GSB Jumbo Heavies, so I would select that one and then press OK. On the next box is your muzzle velocity. You would enter your muzzle velocity in that box if you have chronoed your rifle. You would then add your zero range, whatever you have zeroed your rifle in. I have zeroed mine at 35 yards. And then in the next box is your sight height. The sight height of mine from my rifle is 3 inches. In the next box to the right you would then put in your scope magnification. And the calculation magnification you zeroed your scope at. I zeroed my scope at, at 12. So I would add 12. After you've done that, you can go to your toolbox and you can calculate your ballistic coefficient for your pellet and your rifle. I did mine using the point at range, so you would click on that box there. As you can see here, muzzle velocity, that is already entered. Your zero range is already entered and your sight height is already entered. You would then put in your distance range as the range has to be further in your zero range. So I did mine at 60 yards and the poi difference, what my pellet and rifle was, ended up being 805 so I would enter that there, 8.05, and then I would press calculate, and that 
puts the BC at 0.0281. You would then click OK. There is also another part to calculate your PC, which is velocity difference. If you have a chronograph and you set it out to a 60 yard range, obviously your first velocity is 579.3. And then your second velocity, whatever it is at 60 yards, you would enter it here and then press calculate. That would give you an even more accurate description for using Hot Chair Gun Pro by having two BCs calculated using the velocity difference and your point at range difference. I'll also be showing you how to make your scope tape, which is here. I've made mine already. It took me a while to suss this out, guys, because I thought these numbers at the bottom had to line up on your turret numbers. But I was told it doesn't. Wherever your 35 yard zero is, or wherever your zero is on your scope, you would start the tape at the zero on your turrets and then wrap the tape around. This is quite precise. You will see uh, in the field demonstration later. But my little test at the moment have given me quite good results. So that's your turret tape. And if you go to the toolbox here, you can also go down to your range cards. That's your point difference at 60 yards, which mine was minus 8.05. That one is actually 8.0 up 8.13. Uh, you can go down to your clicks if your scope's in clicks, or MOA if your scope's MOA, mills, and mill dots. There's also a graphing table you can use. There's the table. And if you want to get your wind profile, say um, a five mile an hour wind speed and um, say 30 degree angle, you would click that and then you would see your drift for your wind here. So if you're using mill dots, it'd be at um, 20 yards would be 0 0.28 mill dots for your wind holdover and 0 0.74 mill dots of hold over. There's your 35 yard zero there. And as for wind, at your 35 yards zero, it'd be 0 0.54. This is just your simple graph with your velocities and everything, guys. But you can see it's very useful. You also have a visual representation here, which you can use. Me, myself, I use a scope cap on the top of my scope cap on my reticle i stick that on the back of that and on my range cards what i make i will add the intercept on the range card i'll show you a quick range card what i make i made this using photoshop And this has all my ballistics on it. This is the um, range card I've just made with all the ballistics added onto it. 
So I hope that tells you something, guys. I will show you uh, the results in the field shortly. Thanks for watching another episode of 24 Hour Gunner. If you like today's content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.